Hi everyone, we made it to the weekend. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's been a long week. <sighs> this week, I decided I was going to do a little convo slash knitting <laughs> update, but mostly we're just gonna be talking a little bit um, because you guys have had some good questions and I wanted to talk about it and I feel like I do better when I'm moving my hands. I focus a lot better. So I want to show you guys, this is a sweater I started at the beginning of the year. I'm at a really boring part of it that I'm doing just the same stitch all the way down until I reach like a certain amount of inches. I think it's like 23 and a half inches and I'm at like 20. So this is my church project sweater. I have it in my go bag for church because I realized that I can focus better and I can you know, sit still if I'm doing something with my hands, um, taking notes, I usually end up doodling, making to-do lists, things like that for my day, but I can really focus a lot better if I'm moving my hands and then I'm not as fidgety, I've noticed. So this is my church sweater. I usually only work on it on Sundays, but she's getting close to being done and then I can work on the arms. So I'll just be working on this while we have this little conversation. I wrote down a couple of the questions um, and just some other things I wanted to talk about. So, <sighs> welcome. I'm glad you guys are here. Definitely probably wanna put this video on your TV or on your phone and put it down and put your own little cup of tea and we can drink tea together and talk. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do with people is to have them over for tea. Also, because it is the weekend, we're in our weekend sweater. We have our hair pulled up and we have just a headband. We're not doing anything fancy today. Or staying home. So let's answer some of these questions. Also, if I have to leave through some of the video, it's because our house we're heating it with the wood stove and I need to stock the wood stove every like I don't know, whenever it's getting low. And I did it right before this video. So we might have to do it again sometime throughout the video, but we'll see. First question. Actually I got a lot of questions about this. People were asking if they could send us mail. And the answer is, let me take a sip because I realize I can't talk and sip. It's still really hot. Anyways, the answer is yes, you can send us something. I love getting mail from you guys. There was a time in, I think it was like 2022 where I was getting mail like pretty consistently. Um, actually my YouTube, I started it um, like posting videos of me unboxing boxes from people and companies so you can even find that playlist somewhere here on my channel I think it's like unboxing or something like that but people are just so sweet and they just sent me sweet gifts like from Target they knew I love Target um my most recent unboxing was a friend from TikTok sent me some stuff from a like lower 48 based companies I think Bucky's H-E-B things like that so, and I am using like those seasonings and sauces and everything. Like it's very, very sweet. And then some people have sent me books. Some people have sent me like kids stuff, um, like coloring books. And one person actually who came and stayed at our resort, she found me here. I think, I believe it was on YouTube. I can't remember if it was YouTube or um, TikTok. But she sent me some of her, her books in painting, or her <laughs> painting in books of, her paintings in a book form. And I still have that book. So it was very, very sweet of people. And there's even one time where a whole Girl Scout troop sent me cookies. You know, being out here in the middle of nowhere, we don't have Girl Scout stuff. And it's very rare that we get like Girl Scout cookies. And oh my gosh, Thin Mints. I just, I love getting mail. I love getting letters. And you know, there's some people who send me things and like they say like in the letter, you don't need to share any of this. Like, I just want to tell you how your videos have impacted me. Um, this is what I do for work. And it's just really cool being able to also hear your guys' stories. So I will link my address in the description and don't get mad at me for linking my address, okay? Being out here in the middle of nowhere, Excuse me, you're not supposed to be on the table. Nobody show Jared this, please. He does not like the cats being on the table. I don't either, but... It was just me and her for about three years before Jared came. 
I love you, baby, but you can't be up here. <sighs> Anyways, don't get mad at me for sharing my address. Being in the middle of nowhere, you literally don't have any official addresses. There is none. So you can make up your own address and it still gets to you. There's only like two official addresses out here that you can use, but this address that I'm putting below, it literally is how I know it's from you guys. It's a made up address that I created. So I know it's coming from you guys. So then I know when I open it, that like it's to film it or something like that. So sometimes if it just comes to like general delivery or just my name, like I don't know who it's from or for, but when it's that, you know, I know to film it in a video. And if we get enough boxes, we'll just do another whole unboxing video or you'll just see clips of it throughout like the vlogs. Um, but it's really cool when you guys send stuff and it literally feels like Christmas getting mail out here. Um, mail does come three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and very weather dependent because it does come on small planes. So it is, it does feel like Christmas every day when we get mail. I feel very, very special. All that to say, yes. You can send us stuff and I'll put my address below. Someone also asked how I got my cats. You saw Beasley jump on the table. Yikes. Um, Beasley actually came to me. I have two cats, by the way. Beasley and Ozzy. Beasley, she is named after Pamela Beasley from The Office. I love The Office. And she came to me in 2020, August of 2020. Um, my roommate at the time and I were wanting a cat and I was really wanting a cat and she found a listing on Alaska list which is like the Alaska version of Craigslist and it was these pictures of kittens I wish I had that picture somewhere I don't know where it is anymore like a huge litter of them and then there was this really beautiful kitten Beasley in the corner and I said I want that cat like she was just sitting there. It was like a group photo of all the cats playing and stuff. And she just sat there all cute. So I messaged the lady and said, hey, like this is all within like 24 hours. I said, hey, I'm interested in that kitten in the corner. Only we'll take her if she's a girl. Um, and she said, yes, it is a girl. She's yours. $50 rehoming fee. Boom, sent it. My roommate went and picked her up. And this is like during COVID. So she went to her apartment and knocked on her door and the lady just had her arm out, like didn't even like look at them, just like opened the door, stuck her hand out with this little kitten that was probably way too small to be away from her family. And <laughs> yeah, she came here. She got to, was put in a little box with um, towels and old t-shirts and she was loved on by all the um, employees at the air taxi and got to be sent out here's that co-pilot so when she landed the pilot like waved at me like after the engine shut off waved at me and I came to the pilot door and he handed me the box and honestly my parents thought Beasley was not gonna make it because of how small she was the lady was not supposed to have kittens in her apartment I don't even know if she was supposed to have a cat because she did make a comment that she just needs them gone fast because I asked her what kind of cats they were and she's like, no idea. No idea my cat was even pregnant with kittens. I need them out of here. So I had to like drop feed Beasley for a couple days and my aunt had to send me formula from Anchorage. And she was just tiny, tiny. I'll include some photos in here too, but she was just baby. And so I took her everywhere with me. She lived in my jacket for a long time and would just roam around. <laughs> she was like my child. But eventually, you know, she got bigger and better and now she's this beautiful, spunky, long-haired cat that has her own opinions. She's hilarious. I think she, well, I know she doesn't like Jared and if he does something that she doesn't like, she will go pee on his things and walk back in the room and just stare at him. True story, that actually happened not too long ago. So that's how I got Beasley. She came on the Alaska list. And then my black cat, Ozzy, she is, I just found that name, like there's someone on YouTube or TikTok and I just really liked that name. So her name is Ozzy, <laughs> not named after someone from YouTube or TikTok, but just because I really liked that name and found it on there. Um, 
she came to me um fall of 2022 so literally right as jared and i started dating it was a local family who had a cat that surprisingly got pregnant and had kittens and i had just been thinking that beasley needed a sister just because she was left home a lot when i was at work um this was before i was working from home so she just needed a a companion to keep her happy because she was very overwhelming to me when I would come home. So if there was someone else that could, you know, run her down, get her energized. And I only wanted a girl. I only wanted to keep the like girl cats just because I had a really bad experience with a black cat when I was younger. That was a boy. And so we just grew up strictly with female cats. And I think I'm a little traumatized from that still. So sticking to the female cats. And I went and visited the kittens here and Ozzy just really stood out to me. She looked like a little bat. She's so cute. I have a little selfie with her. It looks like I'm holding a bat. But I think it was literally right as Jared and I started dating that she came, she came home. So to me and that was like August September of 2022. That's how I got my cats. I know a lot of people here in town they adopt them through like different adoption agencies in Anchorage. They also get them from like the pound. That's how we got like my pair like my cat that I basically grew up with. She came from the pound. We had no idea how old she was. Her name was Twinkle and she was the best cat in the world. My other I know other people who have gotten them same thing like Craigslist Alaska list and uh, local people here in town um, same with dogs like dogs are the same way there's someone here in town who breeds actually two different people in town who breed different types of dogs and that's literally like their I think their business so yeah there's a lot of different ways people get animals here another one was I remember a couple years ago my aunt was I think chaperoning a sports trip in one of the villages and there's a lot of stray dogs there and so she worked with one of the teachers in the school to help rehome those dogs here to Port Allsworth not all of them a couple of them I think there was like four different dogs that came and found homes here so that was really cool that they were able to do that and literally keep it like within you know the villages and that way these dogs were able to to find homes which was really sweet and they were just little puppies so cute i know jared really wants a dog eventually when we build a house and buy property we will definitely well we have to buy property first and then build a house we'll definitely do that which is another question we get asked i get asked a lot is what's the timeline for that we don't know Right now we're in the saving process. We will hopefully um, have some more ideas like within the coming years. We have, we, I mean, I have like an idea of what I want our house to look like, but definitely like the property out here is expensive. So we just need to save up for that um, so we can make a down payment and then make payments and things like that. Um, but then also with property out here, you're literally just buying a property. You have to pay to get your own well drilled in and your own like electricity. Um, so it does cost a pretty penny, but we know that with hard work, we'll be able to, we'll be able to get it done. We know for sure, like we want a guest house on our property. We want to have chickens. We want to have a, um, like a woodshed. We want to have a garden. Um, we'd like, you know, a yard for when we have kids and just like a fun, just space. So we'll see what ends up happening. I'm hoping, you know, it isn't too long, but we'll see. The house we're in now, which people have asked for a house tour, we might do one here in the next couple months. Um, there's just some renovations that need to be done. It's an old house. It's been here for a long time. Um, I asking my parents about it. They don't even know exactly who built it. Um, there's a lot of different people who lived here but basically, it's been added on to and added on to so many times and changed. Like, I'm in the dining room kitchen right now, and there's two bedrooms downstairs, but they're not insulated because it used to be a shed. So we recently put little Toyo stoves in there that are um, powered with, like, power and fuel oil. 
So those keep those rooms warm, which is a huge difference from when I house sat here back when I was like 2019 through 2020, 20, yeah, 2021 basically, um, or 2020, I guess, 2019 and 2020, um, we didn't have any heat in there and I basically froze like every single night when I slept in those rooms. And then like we had a massive, um, this past summer, we had a pipe explode and literally fell on top of our washer and dryer. Um, there, used, there was a fire in here many, many years ago. Um, and so that's all like all cleaned up and stuff from that. But it's a really old house. And even just, you know, where our wood stove is, it's in our pantry, entry, pantry, <laughs> it's in our entryway. So our entryway and upstairs get really hot, but the rest of the house doesn't as well. And we even have a little fan, but it gets my pantry really warm, which I don't feel comfortable with all my food and stuff being in there. So some of it is in my two spare rooms down here, but there's also a little entryway over here in the kitchen that this summer, hopefully we're gonna insulate, take the door off, close the door off to that side. Um, we'll give you guys updates closer to time, but make that a little walk-in pantry. So then I can put a bifold door over there, store clothes, winter stuff in there. Um, that's one thing that this house lacks is storage. So yeah, hopefully, you know, get those things done before we can do an actual tour which would be nice, but we'll see. We might do it sooner than that. My two downstairs rooms, I have one room that is completely equipped as a guest room and the other room used to be my office, but I don't need that big of an office space. So I'm gonna clean it out. I started cleaning it out. I wanna completely just like make it look really nice and make it um, available for like a play space when my niece and nephew come. Cause if you haven't noticed our house is a little small. So when we have guests over, it does make it quite crowded in here to have everyone in here. Um, but then that little room, you know, door open, you can see into it from any point of the house, basically. Um, kids can play in there and have fun and eventually someday it'll be a nursery. But um, we're not like rushing to have kids quite yet. We just got married. We do want kids eventually. I know that's another question people ask like, oh, is she pregnant or are they gonna have kids eventually? Like we really want to. Um, and we're, we're excited about whenever that comes, but we are still waiting a little bit to see, you know, we're still not even one year into marriage yet. So we're not, we're not rushing into anything quite yet. Another question people ask is the Etsy shop. So by this time, you guys would have seen that we're doing a sale on our Etsy shop actually really, really soon. <laughs> and so that's really exciting. I, the Etsy shop is called Selena Mary Graphics. I was doing that for a while, selling my Port Allsworth themed in Alaska themed like stickers, shirts, whatever you call it. And kind of took a break from that when the social media stuff took off and I still sell all those like shirts and stickers in the summertime um, but really want to get it out there more so um, yeah want to just have a massive sale it's gonna be fun so you guys are gonna you guys will see that and I'm hoping there's a lot of people that get stuff rep Port Allsworth and Lake Clark National Park we're literally the headquarters to Lake Clark National Park and we'll do a whole video of boxing everything up and shipping it to you guys. So it'll be fun. We're getting to the home stretch. What's the plan for summer? I need some tea. My goodness, summer is just around the corner. We literally have people showing up for work next month, which is mind blowing. I can't believe how busy I have been with can't believe how busy I have been with just preseason work and answering people's emails and doing all the inquiries and things like that. Thankfully, my new sister-in-law is here, so she is helping get everything ready for summer, as in like the staff housing areas, um, just some of the organizational stuff at my parents' house because we do store some stuff over there. Um, 
some of the like training stuff too. She's one of the managers. So it's really helpful having that here. And for my side of it, it's literally like all the paperwork. So I do all the hiring for all the employees. So now we're on the final stretch, making sure everyone has their paperwork, everyone's on schedules, everyone has a place to stay. Cause that's one of the hard things about um, out here in staffing wise is you have to be really conscientious, conscientious, you have to think about, wow, I can't speak the housing because that is a big, not issue, but it is limiting to who you can hire. Because sometimes, like we have a guy's dorm and a girl's dorm and we have apartments, but we don't mix genders when we hire. We just keep like guys in one, girls in the other. So if I don't have as many rooms in the boys area, I have to hire girls or put a bunch of boys in apartments if apartments are available. Uh, so I don't even know housing stuff like some of our employees request different housing like people who have gone here before I can't even tell them sure or no or yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'll let you guys know for sure in May because I'll put this in my notes and I'm not sure what's gonna happen quite yet with housing because these housings do like the summer staff they have our mechanics they have our some pilots like it's just every who works for us that doesn't have property or a house out here this is where they stay whether it's seasonally oh my gosh cats or year-round so that's kind of where I'm at with summer summer's gonna be pretty busy I have you know mornings in the kitchen in the the with the breakfast chef which I'm really excited about that this year it's one of our girls who is returning that um has not done this breakfast part before, but I know that she's a good chef and a good baker. So I'm really excited to be working with her. And then I'll be doing all the office stuff as per the usual, and then also creating videos and content for just life here in Alaska and life running a lodge with your family and things to do at the lodge, lodge vlogs, things like that. So I'm really excited to show you guys some of those. Um, we have some fun visitors coming this summer, so excited to hopefully tag them along in some of the videos. You guys can get to know them as well. Um, Jared's mom's going to come and visit this summer, which I'm really excited about because the only time she's been here, it's been quick trips like for our wedding. And then she came like the summer we started dating, like before we were even dating, um, literally just for a couple days. So she'll be out here, which will be a blast. But besides that, we're just gonna ride the waves as they come. Summer's crazy and I'm excited that this summer, like, well, last summer was really hard because we got married just days before our first clients came. And so try navigating a really busy summer schedule where like we both have different schedules, it's crazy busy hours, you're go, go, go nonstop. And then also trying to navigate marriage because now you're living with a person and you're trying to figure out life as a married couple and not just as boyfriend and girlfriend, fiance, whatever. So that was challenging and it was also really good, but also very challenging. Um, and I'm excited for this summer that we won't be going through all that <laughs> and a busy summer. We get to just be together. We know each other's grooves more now than we did back then. Um, and so it'll be, I feel like a lot easier um this year but yeah that's our plans for the summer big plans for this winter really don't know yet um I'm hoping we can do some sort of a vacation come 2024 2025 um just to get out of Alaska it is really nice to escape the cold and go somewhere warm um Jared does a deer camp with his family every November so we're gonna try to get him down to that we'll see if that's doable this year we will we will see. A lot of stuff just comes up randomly and we don't even know about it and then it's an opportunity arises. Like we want to bring, Jared has a truck in Michigan, we want to drive it to Alaska. There was a possibility we were going to do that this spring, like literally in a couple weeks. Um, but, and the whole reason that came about was there was a pair of, of airplane floats the resort needed in Canada and needed to bring them to Alaska. So my dad and my grandfather asked us if we were interested because um, they knew we were trying to bring the truck up if we wanted to stop there, pick up the floats and then come 
to Alaska, which would mean we would have to go Michigan, Seattle, Vancouver, Anchorage. So if you don't know geography, it's literally Michigan over here, drive across to Seattle, Vancouver, then up to Alaska. So that would have been just added more time to the trip, but also that's kind of what I was wanting to do initially, just because I wanted to explore a couple more states with Jared before um, driving the truck up. So that ended up falling through. I think something else is happening with the shipping of the float, so we weren't gonna do that anymore. I mean, we were hoping if we were doing it to surprise his family in Michigan, but oh well, life happens, plans change story of our lives out here you know it's okay you just are always on your toes but eventually we want to bring the truck up and I kind of want to do that before we have kids so then we have like a vehicle to use because right now we use um, a shared vehicle in Anchorage with my siblings and it's nice it's a van and it's it's good it works but at the same time like when we're all in Anchorage it's like one of us has a car none of us have a car or who knows what it's gonna be like so having that there will just be nice to have a vehicle for us and then another added expense to it too because we have to pay for parking at the air taxi so which is where we keep our car parked or truck parked or whatever so that's kind of like what we're thinking and hoping and plus I thought it would be fun to do a whole like series on here driving the Alcan to Alaska because that's a really just beautiful drive so I've heard I've never done it before and it's on my bucket list so hopefully Jared and I will be able to do it. Wow we're making it. I don't think we that made that big of a dent in here but now we're about 30 minutes into filming and I think we're gonna be done for the day because I do need to get a little bit of work done today. Even though it is Saturday, we still work on a Saturday and Saturdays are usually my busiest days because I do, Sundays are my day off. So Saturdays, it's wrapping everything up for Sunday. Um, I lead worship at church, so I have to finalize the worship, put together, like finalize the team, put together practices. Um, usually there's something happening with our family, whether that's like a dinner or a get together on Saturday nights or Sunday nights and then making food or something for that. So Saturdays are usually busy. They're not very like relaxing. Sundays are a little bit more chill than that, but yeah, gotta get a little bit of work done. Maybe we'll get Jared to join us again. I miss Jared being in the videos. It's better than talking to myself. If you have questions, just drop them in the comments below. Jared or myself try to go through comments. It's a little bit harder for me. Jared goes through them mostly for me. Um, and we try to answer them as best as we can or we collect them and then we do another video like this. So we love you guys. We're very thankful you guys are here. We'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.